Hi everyone, welcome back to Still Lives My Life. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and come back to check out more still processing videos. Just a few small things before I hop into the video. Make sure you guys go check out Still Lives My Life on Instagram where you can interact with me and see all things still processing. I'll have still processing questions of the day about the department. You'll get a chance to go over some general instrumentation. As well as starting soon, I'll have a still processing study session on Sunday where you can come and prepare for your issue exam. I'll be asking questions directly from the workbook, so if anyone is interested in that, make sure you go and join the study group. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to talk about what is a sterile processing technician. I've had a lot of awkward conversations where people would ask me what I do for a living. I'll reply with I'm a sterile processing technician and give them a brief description of the job and they automatically assume that I'm a surgical technician. These are two completely different jobs and today I'm going to talk to you about what a sterile processing technician do. The job description of a still processing technician would differ depending on the state or hospital that you're employed at. However, the overall goal of a still processing department will always remain the same. You can always expect to do these few tasks. You will go to other departments to pick up their soiled or used instruments, and you'll also receive soiled instruments from the operating rooms once their surgeries are completed. You will then take your soiled instruments into your decontamination room where you will start your cleaning process. Once your cleaning process is completed, you'll pass your instrument through the washer or if you hand wash them through the window and it will be received on the prep and pack side. Now once the instruments are on the prep and pack side, the technician will double check the instruments for cleanliness and begin to assemble and prepare the tray for sterilization, whether that be steam, sterad, ETO, or high level disinfectant. Once your sterilization process is complete and your trays are cool and your biologicals have passed, you will then move your trays into a still storage room. For some, the sterilization process stops here, but for others, you will go on to create case carts. When you set up a case cart, you pull the necessary trays from the still storage room and place them onto a cart. This is to help the surgical technicians and nurses be more time efficient when they're setting up an operating room for a surgery. And those are the tasks of a sterile processing technician. I didn't go into great detail. I just wanted to give you guys a general idea of what we do every day as sterile processing technicians. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. And don't forget to check out Sterilize My Life on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.